Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today you find me out on another walk. I just decided to follow this footpath down from Lyminster towards St Nicholas Church in Poling. So uh, this area is just to the south of the A27. I don't know whether you can make out uh, the cars moving there in the distance and there is a Roman road that uh, used to run from east to west um, in this through this area I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to see any of that uh, due to the intensive farming um, as you can see here the road itself that I'm on does look quite straight and it is raised above the rest of the area so it's possible that this is the Roman road but without excavating we're never going to know so um, down in that direction is Lyminster Church um, so it would make sense that it would be running past that church and that direction is the destination of St Nicholas in Poling So um, just came off the uh, main track and saw what I thought was a bit of farm uh, stru farming structure down this lane. Uh, it's quite a pretty little lane, but decided to investigate. And uh, on closer inspection, it doesn't look like a farm building. So uh, a quick look around. Uh, as you can see, it's a, uh, a World War II bunker or machine gun post. So, uh, looks like it's still accessible. So, we'll just head around here so we can see whether we can get in. These um, bunkers have only been destroyed after the war. The uh, farmer would have been paid by the Ministry of Defence to destroy these. Obviously, he didn't decide to destroy this one. Probably didn't have much significance to his farming. Probably wasn't getting paid enough for him to bother, but uh, remarkable to see one in such good condition. So uh, we're going to head off back in that direction.
So the footpath ends here, turns into a road with some houses on. So very uh, secluded cottages. Very peaceful out here. Just gonna head in this direction and then I believe I've just got turned right. For those of you not in England, probably not familiar with this, uh, and those of you of a certain age range won't be familiar with this, but uh, here we find the traditional telephone box. It used to be everywhere before the advent of mobile phones or smartphones. Completely devoid of any function now, other than. Uh, reminding us of the past. So, uh, gonna head on. So, church is down there and as you can see it's a pre-Norman church which uh, I guess they were all pre-Norman churches at one point. So I got here and uh, found it to be quite busy so I uh, thought something quite out in the uh, sticks of this there wouldn't be many people but there was probably about sort of uh, 15 people sort of hanging around. Um, as you'd expect quite an old looking church but extremely well kept and um, you can see that the flints have been repointed relatively recently. take care where I've uh, been stepping. Let me find the north door. Obligatory uh, yew trees. Just oh, some evidence there of some recent repair work. So yeah, it's a well maintained uh, church. Church wouldn't be a church without the obligatory boot scrapers, albeit these aren't a uh, 
and then fixture by the looks of things so uh, it's all removable let's see if it's open So it's very uh, cold in the church but nice to see one so well looked after um, as much as it does look very old there's obviously a lot of uh, new things uh, mixed in there certainly these bricks would not be uh, original fitment but uh, the roof itself looks very very old so um, I'm going to head back to the car now. Just like to take this uh, moment to say thanks for watching, and if you could like and subscribe, it will help me to make more videos just like this.